we're going to do a special tour of my stitching room. I've had several people ask to see an updated stitching video, so we're going to do that today. And my daughter is filming, so thank you, Megan, for helping me out. We're going to do this room and two rooms upstairs so you can see the additional samplers. Last time I did a video was two years ago, and I changed stuff all around all the time. So, um, coming into my room, my room's downstairs in our basement. It's finished. Um, here's the door that I never close, but I have lots of things when you walk in on the door that kind of don't fit anywhere else, so I keep them here for right now. These are Dutch show towels that after taking a retreat with Brenda Gervais, she talked about these show towels. So I found some and just have them here. I think they're very, the story behind them is wonderful and I'm glad I have a few in my collection. So just a couple of these. And if you, as you come in, my husband has put up a couple, a lot of shelves, but here's two of them right here that I can put all my treasures on. I have a little toy sewing machine. I've got a lot of bowls from Pete's B Skeps. Kathy and Peter make these. Peter does. Kathy helps sell them. Um, just a lot of, of things that mean a lot to me and treasures that I have purchased or had um, stitching. These two are by Told in the Garden that Joy redid for me um, into drums. They used to be framed pieces. This is Merry Christmas by La Di Da. This was a um, sewing box that I purchased last year and um, it has little things inside of it. Um, it's a beautiful workmanship and it's I'm glad to have it in my stuff. Down here, over here, is where I have lots of things that I have not done anything with. There's new charts, kits, things that I bought that are just kind of piled up there. It's real life, so that's the way it is. These two boxes here are full of kitted projects that I want to do. Um, <laughs> sometimes you know, it can get overwhelming because the new thing, new toy comes out and you want to do that one instead. So I need to go through these and see what's there. Um, this is a old secretarial desk. This folds up, but I always have it down and I have my scissors back here. Most of them little, you know, little bobs, so on and so forth. Um, here is, I got these two um, cabinets, if you will, from Ikea, not Ikea, from Amazon. And they're just black um, display cases. And inside them, I have um, various things I've stitched. And Megan, I'll, I don't know if she can zoom in there and see what's in there. And then over here, I have another one that's smaller and has things that mean a lot to me. There's a little Scotty someone stitched for me. And I do have a Scotty box up here that's full of Scotty things that people have made or I have made. Um, and it's in here. Down here... Um, below these black boxes. Um, I have this thread cabinet that my daughter Megan found and I have um, various supplies in here. Craft supplies, um, wool, felt. Here is a lot of my um, floss cards that I have been gifted with. I'll show you where I keep the majority of them. Uh, I try to straighten them out a little bit. And then over here in this corner, um, this was stitched by Heidi Moore for a Christmas exchange. And this is um, by Chessie and me. And I can't remember the name. I know you guys are yelling at me at the name of it. There's a sampler that goes with it. 
and this is the pillow that I stitched as well. This is a little cabinet I got at an antique store, and I keep uh, little gifts in here. This is my mom's desk, and I'm going to switch places with Megan. <laughs> and um, these, I have my Prairie Schooler Santas here. Um, Tracy made these Santas this year for us. Uh, I love them, and I leave them out all year. Some boxes I've had for quite a long time. The shaker boxes I got at Hobby House this year. This was a gift. This is one I purchased. And another box that I got at Ikea that my husband painted black. It used to be just a plain, um, like, birch colored. And then in here, these I got at um, Amazon. And I have several of them. And I keep my note cards in here. Um, thank you cards, note cards, notepads. It's a great way to store them and have it look um, nice for stitching, for a stitching room. Extras are over here, and I even have more floss tags over here. I've been um, acquiring some antique quilts. This is a quilt top that I purchased. It's from the early 1900s. Um, I love it, so I put it on the back of that chair. Over here is most of my smalls, except for my Christmas ornaments, and I've run out of space, so I can't keep it out all year. I wish I could. wish I had more space, but I don't. And then up here is just things that I, again, have collected, um, purchased, stitched. Um, I love this home sweet home. This is totally me um, that I stitched this year. These little berries are from Julie Primitive Heartstrings, I think. She's on Etsy. I've talked about her before on her videos. She makes wonderful um, prim items. I've, um, over here, these are Christmas charts, um, for the most part in here. And then these boxes, these gray boxes here and under the table are all fabric. Um, my fabric, and I'll show it to you in a minute, has overflowed. And I keep these boxes that I got from Ikea, and they have fabric in them. I have acquired a lot more of the thread and needle cabinets. I love them. Um, and these are all the Millward's needle cabinets. These one, two, three, uh, JMP coats. This one is not antique, but I love it. I have all my Valdani threads in here all the way down. This is kind of like a things I haven't put away yet. Again, real life, but <laughs> my collection of hand and lock cases. Um, I love these. I should stop saying I love, right? Um, over here, here are two. Um, this is a JMP coat salesman um, case when he would take it out to sell. And it even has the little numbers on it of things that the women could purchase. This was a real score for me. And then this was our Christmas exchange this year. This was stitched by Susie Reno. And that's down here. This one is the first box I got from J&P Coats. Um, and I have a lot of my favorite things in here that are really, really special to me. Um, I'll open it, open it up. Scotty dog things, things that people have made for me, um, all treasures. I have more cabinets here, and they're full with different things. Some have silk in them. Some have just little bits and bobs, um, needles, another Millward's needle case. 
And then this is my collection up here of drums that I've made. Um, again, I'm running out of room to put them all up here. I have one back over there. Um, more um, spool cabinets. Again, these are all finds. Um, eBay or um, my family found this one at an antique store in Indiana. These are my strawberries from Under the Will and Willow. I was in her club and purchased some um, as well. This is all my strawberries in here. I got this case not too long ago and put all my strawberries in here for the most part. As you can see, it's really full, so some are out still. <laughs> This is a cabinet that I got at Hobby Lobby several years ago. It's similar to the Pottery Barn ones that people have been um, showing lately. And I've just got, uh, again, little treasures, things I stitched, things I've been given. Um, my little Scotty dog from Kay. I love that. Um, little pin cushions. These are old salt cellar um, antique things. Okay, over here are all my uh, books that I've collected all about needlework, some small antique quilts up there. And my collection of tomatoes in a La Hayes uh, box that I got many years ago. Next to it is some rug hooking that I have acquired from Rhonda. Um, she's my glory stars on Instagram. Her work is beautiful and I fold it up with the ones that I'm not using. They're seasonal. Magazines and charts are in this first uh, row here. My fab, this is a quilt that Barry from Stitch Folk made for me out of the Blackbird fabric. I love this fabric so much, and she made this for me. And my collection of fabric that I can fit is in here. The rest are in those gray boxes I showed you earlier. This kind of protects it a little. There's not any dust down here in the basement for the most part. Um, we don't have windows open. And then if you go to the right here, oh, this stuff up here is just um, punch needle pieces I've acquired or stitched, um, some pins, just miscellaneous things. I made the this box top um, and have it here. It's on a, I think this is a LaHaye's box, if I remember correctly. And then to the right here, um, all my charts kind of categorized by samplers or by designers, like Prairie Schooler, Blackbird, and Blackbird runs all that way. This is Hands Across the Sea. This is kind of a jumbled mess for right now. These are um, thread kits that I have that I need to organize better. All of this here, in here and behind it and underneath it are all with a needle and thread Brenda Gervais charts um, some from retreat pieces like these boxes um, and then I have Plum Street samplers in the Scarlet House and Stacy Nash all her charts are down in that bottom gray one most of everything is, you know, organized by designer or categorized like as samplers if I don't have enough of one designer. This right here 
and maybe Megan can get in, but these are all my 103s and then back here. These are jewelry. Um, they come five trays. They're on Amazon. Um, they hold your 103s perfectly. Um, and they're all in here. I, some of them were kits that I purchased, so I put the name of, you know, what the chart. This is for Mary Goodwin by Hands Across the Sea. These are great solution to store all your 103s. Um, over here, my queen hoops. Um, my husband had an idea because these are the bigger ones and they kept falling. So I put them on a ring and hung them up here, which is a great. This is a little box I bought at Hobby House last year. And these are little things, little smalls that people have stitched for me that are very, very special. So I put them all in here. And this cabinet has, I don't even know what it has in here, little um, thread gauges, you know, the corner gauge. These shaker boxes right here were made by Carol, um, Saltbox Stitcher's husband. The shelf on the top up here is a lot of um, scissor holders. Um, that Pete from Pete's B Scaps made. Um, this was from a retreat that we that I didn't was not able to go to from dying to stitch. This shelf, these were Nicola had these for sale, and I was able to get a couple of them. And this, these are the wood products that she offered. The little table next to my stitching chair here, again, has one of a uh, spool holder and scissor holder that I got from Nick, bought from Nicola. There's some more antique quilts that I have here. I haven't decided what I'm doing with them, but um, I love them. This one. And then the red and white one, I, I adore that one. And then some little ones that I've gotten, smaller ones, maybe from the 30s and 40s. Um, over here, we can go back a little bit. I didn't show this. This is some of my project um, that are, have kitted projects in here. These are all needlework press um, charts that I put in this basket. My stitching chair, and this is next to my stitching chair. Um, more, these are two more that I purchased from Nicola. Some more little pin cushions here. Another little display box that I got from Amazon. These are great, very affordable. And I have some things in here that are special to me. This dresser was moved in here a um, couple months ago. And this dresser and the dresser back by my chair were both from my grandma and grandpa on my mother, mother's side. These top two drawers are full of project bags. Hmm. No comment from the production department. These are project bags, and this is my wool and punch needle. These are more project bags, and um, these are... I. These are go over the arm of your chair. There's a name for them. Tammy made these, and I have a couple of, two or three of hers. Justine made this one for me. I love it. Love, love, love it. 
and more bags under here. I can't turn down a project bag. And then this on top here, again, there's two more shelves my husband put up for me. Um, I have Brenda Gervais' um, salt box sampler box that was finished by Joy. And there are some treasures in there. My um, fabric covered buttons. Then more, all this down here are just more things that I have collected. These are um, girls and their dolls, dolls and their girls. Pin cushions, most of them are. Back behind here are all the With Thy Needle and Thread Schoolhouse series in this antique cabinet. These are some of my needle books. I've been collecting these vintage J&P Coates collector's cards. I just think they're awesome. So I've been collecting those. And here, as you're walking out the door, we're back to where we started. There's more um, needle books here. This is one Laura just gave me. It's by Kathy Holden. Three Kittens Quilting made these. I love these. All made by hand. I just, I love every single one of them. Here is more of these boxes that I got from Amazon. And in here I have all the thread bling that you, that I have collected, purchased, been gift, gifted. Those are all in here and floss drops, the ones that I could fit in one of these. Again, these are really affordable from Amazon. And then some needle minders here. This has been here for a long time. My husband put it here when I first moved into this room and that's kind of where it stayed. Okay, I think that's it down here. And we're gonna cut this right here and we're gonna move upstairs. See you there. Hi, we're in my living room. This is where my husband and I are at night. I'm stitching, he's on his iPad, or we're watching TV, whatever. Anyhow, these I'm just these are all my samplers. I'm not gonna go through every one. Um, as you can see, my walls are full. I have had to do some rearranging when I get new samplers back. So this is the corner by the front door. Front door is right behind me. This is a lamp that we got from my in-laws when my father-in-law passed away. And that's here along with their wedding picture and a picture of um, my in-laws and all four siblings. I need to get that framed. Then over here, some these are three Hands Across the Sea samplers. Um, a blackbird and one by the Scarlet House. This is my husband. He's made this. This is where he keeps a lot of his magazines. He loves magazines. <laughs> and then we'll pan over. Um, this is looking out my front. Who cares? And more samplers over here. Um, the drawn thread, um, Victorian samplers, the Scarlet House. Plum Street Samplers, and the Scarlet House again. Then over here, I thought I'd show you this. Megan doesn't know I'm going to do this, but she is making something for a friend of hers. Oh, that's not it. That's extra fabric. And she is stitching Let It Snow by uh, With I Needle and Thread. And then we're gonna finish it into a pillow. So, hope to do that before she has to go back to work. 
here's just a, a small collection of things that mean stuff to my husband and I. Um, some stitch pieces here, antique clocks, um, our animals that um, are no longer with us, and my homage to Michigan. This is a real helmet that my next door neighbor works for Rydell, and he was he got this for me as a gift. Go blue. Yeah. <laughs> that goes without saying. And then over here is um, my husband made this. This was an old tree stump, and he finished it, took the wood down, and he usually has magazines on here as well. And this corner here, are, I've had to, we've extended it down. Hands Across the Sea, Scarlet House, uh, Prairie Schooler. This is a little gift from Valerie, Stitching in the Barn. It works perfectly there. Um, Brenda Gervais, Hands Across the Sea. This is a little um, snowman display I'll leave out till probably February. This clock is from my great um, grand, my great grandparents. My grandfather had it and my mom had it and then I have it now. So it runs like a charm. Then all these samplers, again, I'm not gonna go through all of them. If you have a question, just let me know. This is the wall that I face when I'm upstairs stitching. And this is my favorite wall in my home. The only thing I will point out is this is my favorite sampler, Rachel Howells by the Scarlet House. If you haven't stitched that, um, it's wonderful to stitch and it's beautiful. This is by Needlework Press, Sarah Stewart Hardman, the Red Deer Sampler, uh, Roses for Ruby by the Scarlet House. This was my um, cancer piece last year. This is Floral Motif Sampler and Mary Good by Sassafras Samplers. And we'll swing around. Here's more samplers. Again, I've had to take it down almost to the floor because of space. This is a little snowman display. My Megan made this and she made this years ago. These are punch needles that I did. These three, this one I purchased. This is a Brenda Gervais that I stitched. As you can see, I don't have a lot of wall space left. So. But we'll make it work. I'm not gonna stop. So it'll probably be some changing out and um, which is fine. This is where I stitch um, at night, and um, it's very comfortable. I have my light here. People have asked, you know, how does my setup work? This is my um, daylight, and this is a magnifier that I got from Cat Quarter Shop. So with these two, this is an odd light, sorry, not a daylight. Um, this I got from Cat Quarter Shop, it's a daylight magnifier, and with both of these, you can see anything. This is my basket of stuff that I leave mm -hmm. up here, much to the annoyance of my husband. Um, this table over here is where I keep my current stitching supplies, my scissors and whatnot. I love this little, um, it's a, a jewelry case but it's by Kuhana, C-U-Y-A-N-A. -A. This cabinet here was made. My husband took um, some furniture of my grandparents um, 
He's used it for many things for our family and he took some of it and he made this cabinet for me. These are all old pictures of my mom and my grandparents and my aunt and me and my brother. And then we're back over here to kind of where I started. It's not a big room. I don't have a big home, but we love it. I hope you enjoyed it. So we're going to move into one more room where Laura and I do all our filming. You've seen a lot of this stuff, but we'll take you around the room and then we'll be done. Hi, this is where Laura and I will film. Um, we have tables set up in this very small room and we're kind of like encapsulated when we film here, but it, it all works. You don't know what goes on, what you can't see. Anyhow, so this is um, the cuckoo, famous cuckoo clock. Uh, the schoolhouse clock that you probably see, or maybe you don't, I don't, I don't know. Some antique samplers here. This is Elizabeth Hunter that is available by the Scarlet House. This is the original. Um, this one is one my mom stitched. It's cruel. Um, she stitched it for my grandfather and my grandmother when they went to New Zealand for a year on a mission trip back in the 70s. These are some antique samplers. Jane Dolphin, I would love to one day be able to reproduce this one. Um, this is Elizabeth Strickland. I got this from Tinka at Victoria and Rose and Arts. Mary Griffiths, um, this is an antique, has not been reproduced. Emma Richards, another antique, not reproduced. And then this one, Nina B.O. H. Mina A. Mina B O H. I don't know what all that stands for, but it's an antique, has not been reproduced. This quilt is from Susan Stanley, the master quilter. Uh, we did a swap of sorts, and I was gifted, I received this in exchange for what I sent her. This light is from my grandparents. It means a lot to me. Uh, it's very old. Um, another antique sampler back there. Here's another one of these um, cabinets that I got from Ikea. I have some antique samplers in here. This is my patriotic wall. I need to really add to this. I'm a big patriotic person and I love stitching patriotic and I haven't done that in a while. I need to add some these are all things I've stitched or punched. This house is by Little House Needleworks. It was their first punch needle design. Um, that's a Brenda Gervais. And then this is um, another antique clock. Um, this, um, my mother-in-law used to collect birdhouses and when she passed on, we each, each of the family took one and that was one of the ones we took. I have another one downstairs. And then these are what you normally don't see because we're filming the other way. But this is a clock from my in laws, and that's the one that bongs really loud when it strikes. Um, I love that clock. And then a couple of antique samplers here. There's a sampler here by um, Indigo Rose, Catherine Strickler has uh, white thread, drawn thread, uh, it's white work. And then um, these four antique samplers, none of which have been reproduced. The third one down is my first antique sampler that I purchased with the help of Tanya from the Scarlet House. The rocking chair that you see here was um, my grandma on my dad's side, and uh, my husband recovered it, and I love that. This is a Christmas cactus that is very, very old. It was my grandmother's on my mom's side. My mom had it, and 
it has it blooms i mean you can see the blooms uh, we put it outside during the summer and it really flourishes it's the mammoth plant mammoth And the, this is my wall that um, has all brand new Gervais items on it. Noel, um, Francis Poole, J.M. Gardner. This was my first piece I ever did on 40 count. It's Mary's Best. Um, I think it's all DMC. Uh, what's this one? I can't remember. Pink Sparrow Sampler. These are all... Um, I don't think this one is available anymore. That was a limited edition. Again, we're by the front door. We're gonna swing around this way. Again, you don't ever see this wall here. Um, this has all different things on it. My ES spot sampler I did years ago, Shepherd's Bush, Stacy Nash, Just Nan, Blackbird. Um, Ann Topley by The Scarlet House, Louisa Bell by Blackbird, that's Prairie Schooler, Just Nan, my Prairie Schooler Santas, or Santas, yeah, <laughs> samplers. <laughs> and this is Jane Pattison Stitched with Wool by the Shakespeare's Peddler. And that's um, Mary Bovey by Stacy Nash. God With Us was a free release each week many years ago by Plum Street. If you go to her blog, I'm sure it's still available. And then over here, this is a little tiny hallway that goes to our kitchen and family room. And I have started putting pictures up here because I ran out of space. So these are older ones, some hard hanger. And then over here, I don't know how, oh, Megan will flip it around. And on the other side, there's some antique samplers. This is a punch needle I did. This is from the old tattered flag. My husband made this horn book. And then this is the other side, uh, Blackbird, um, GGR, Scarlet House. This is Ellen Strick um, by the Scarlet House. This is the original antique. The one here, this is by Indigo Rose, stitched years and years ago, as you can tell with the mat. This is an antique that my mom had. It's just like a stamped cross stitch almost. Um, and then this last one is by the Drawn Thread. All different kinds of stitches in here. and. So I think that's it. I hope you enjoy and I hope I can inspire you um, in your stitching or if you have a stitching room or a stitching area that you're able to enjoy it as much as I enjoy mine. Happy New Year!